Hey, this is Adam Ackers. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the simplest ways to get a logo created for your brand. All right. One thing I will tell you is it's easy to get hung up on this kind of stuff when you're starting a business and you really don't want to waste too much time on this. Okay. Because the way you're going to build a successful business is as quickly as possible, really focusing on creating content, getting traffic, making sales. Okay. And so what you want to do initially is just get a, a, a logo that presents a professionalism for your brand. I recommend Taylor Brands. There's a link in the description. You can click and just follow along in this video because I'm actually going to walk you through the whole process. The reason I like Taylor is because it's a quick way to get a really nice logo done and it gives you all the files you need. So it'll give you a light version of your logo, a dark version of your logo, a, a version that has a transparent background. And all of this is going to come in handy because if you continue to follow me in the future, I'm going to show you how to set up your online presence and you're going to want to have a logo. Okay. So all you need to do is, like I said, click the link in the description and then that'll take you here. You're going to enter your, you're going to enter your business name. Okay. So mine is online business launch and I'm going to click on design. Okay. So you're going to just enter your, your business name there. Okay. And then it's going to, you know, have you, it, it's going to ask you a question. And I've actually, one thing you might see a different question because they, the way they, um, the way this works is like when you, you get to this step, I've noticed that just from doing this now multiple times, it's not always the exact same question they ask you, but you're going to want to like answer this. I think it's primarily for their own market research. So it doesn't really matter what you sell. So I would just say like, um, let's see, whatever. I'm an influencer. It doesn't really matter. How do you provide your service? Um, I'm online only. So whatever's applicable for you. And then um, enter your industry. I usually just put online business. And then um, uh, your guide to growing an online business from scratch. Okay. Then click on whatever You're, you want to just put an appropriate um, description there. Then click next. So then you have an option of either selecting an icon based um, logo, which would be like if you want to have an icon along with the actual name of your brand, you can have name based, which is just going to be basically your logo is going to be a version of your brand name. And then initial base would be like if you wanted just to use the initials for your brand, right? I'm going to choose icon based, but feel free. It doesn't really matter. Go with whatever you want. Um, so then it gives you options here. I usually search for an icon that's re relevant. So in my case, I'm doing a launch. So I'm going to look for a rocket. Okay. And I'm going to choose, you can choose a few candidates because what it's going to do is it's going to come up with some different versions for you. So I'll just choose those. Click next. You can choose up to five. I choose, I chose four there. And then you're going to want to like choose, um, let's do trendy, rounded, and bolder. Oops. Yeah. So you can pick three. Then click next. And it's going to now design your logo. Isn't this great? It's like, there's obviously um, a number of ways you can get a logo created. You could go to a site like, you know, Fiverr or Upwork. I just have found this tool to make pretty high quality logos really quickly. And like I said, you're going to get a full kit. You're going to get all of the, um, the files you need. So then you're going to need to create an account. So you can create, you can sign up with like whatever. So I'll choose Google and then let me pick the brand I want to use. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. And now it's going to give you a bunch of options. So you're going to want to go through it and pick the option, right? And so I'm going to, I'm just going to pick one, but you can, you can actually have them, you know, if you don't like what you see, just click on see more and it's going to keep generating more options for you. I like this one. So I'm actually going to go with this. I'm going to click on customize. And I just wanted to show you, you actually have the ability to like continue, you know, you can even customize like the style. Um, let's see. I, I like this though. Honestly, I, I really do actually like this logo. So I'm just going to go with it. But if you want to customize it more, feel free to do that. Then click on finish. Then click on I'm finished. Okay. And then you can pretty much ignore all of this stuff. Um, I like, again, all I want to do is get the, you know, the logo files. So what I, what I do then is once I have this done, I just click on downloads on the left over here. And then click on, let's see, choose between, choose below to get your perfect logo size per platform. 
Um, I don't worry about that. Just click on download because you, yeah, don't worry about that. And then um, get a bundle of high, you want, you want to get a bundle of high resolution logo files. Okay. So what I always recommend is just click on upgrade because so here, here's what I recommend. Click on upgrade because you do want to get the full kit. You want to get all of the versions of your logo. And trust me on this. You're going to realize why. Again, if you follow me, I'm going to show you how to put your entire online presence together. And you'll realize at, you know when I do that and when you watch how to do that, that you're going to want all of the files. Okay. So they, it, it defaults to the one-year plan. If you just choose to a month, you can see how it says high quality logo files. You can get all of them for 10 bucks. It's going to sign you up. So my suggestion is actually sign up and then get your files. So you will have paid $10 and then cancel. Okay. So you're only going to be charged that $9 once. They have a bunch of other tools. Honestly, I just haven't found a need for using them. I really just use Taylor brands to generate logos. Okay. So choose this one. And then I'll just sign up with PayPal quick. Let's see. So I'm going to pay with PayPal really quick here. This should only take a second. Use balance. Yep, yep. And then agree and continue. So you can also pay with a card, as you can see. I'm just going to get this done. And then... Congrats. There we go. So help your business grow beyond the first month. Switch to standard annual plan. No. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to click OK. Then you click on Let's Go. And if I go over to Downloads now, I should be able to download them. Here we go. So they're putting it together. OK, so that took a few minutes. So once you complete those first steps, it does take a, a few minutes for them to actually um, generate all the files. But then when you click on downloads on the left, you're gonna see your logo versions here. So then you're gonna click on download and it's gonna download a zip file for you, okay? Which you're gonna have to extract. Um, so I'm gonna actually do that and then I'll show you the file so you can see everything you get. And then I'll, I'll show you the next step of how you can easily cancel your account. Okay, so I wanted to show you the files. So if you, um, you can see here, I downloaded the files and you'll see I get a white logo, um, both with a, a back, a solid background and transparent. You get a dark logo. Anyways, you get all this stuff. I'll actually um, let you see it. So I get this version, this version, uh, a transparent background version. You can see how I get, it's it's just awesome. And this, this entire kit is gonna be useful to you. Okay, so once you've done that, then, and you have your files, um, you can just cancel your account if you want to right away. I mean, if you wanna keep exploring features of Taylor Brands, feel free to do that. But all you need to do, if you go to, it's, I believe settings, let me, uh, plan, deactivate right here, okay? If I click on deactivate, if you want to, to delete your account, you won't be able to edit your logo. You will lose your website. You won't be able to create social posts. But like I said, the only purpose that I've used this for is to create logo files. So once you have those, you really don't need this, all right? Because it is a subscription. So I just recommend saying delete account and I just want a logo. So they do have an option where you can hibernate your account or whatever, but I, like I said, you um, don't, so you can just say don't need this and then just click on delete now. Boom, and we're good to go. And if you ever did wanna use this tool again in the future with your same brand, you could always log in and reactivate, but I've never had to do that. So, so now you have the logo you need, stay tuned to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you haven't, uh, because as I said, I'm gonna be taking you through the whole process of setting up an online presence for your business. I look forward to seeing you in those videos.